Yo, what's up guys, it's X-Rays. Welcome to a new episode of Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Comparison. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the LSAT and of course the Chainsaw, two of the fastest firing LMGs in Call of Duty Ghost. We're going to find out which one's better overall, which one's better in what situations, and which one is more best suited for your playstyle. Now before I actually jump into this, I want to really quickly mention if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to slap a like and a favorite. It gets it out there for other people to enjoy as well. And of course, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, including weapon comparisons, weapon breakdowns, and live commentaries with the weapons in, remember to subscribe so you won't miss a single video. Anyways, with that being said, let's jump straight into the first weapon, which is going to be the LSAT. The LSAT has a magazine size, or in this case, clip size of 100 rounds per magazine or per clip. This is just about average for any of the LMGs. You're not going to see anything higher than this. Normally, this is the normal amount unless it's some sort of different weapon that you see in some Call of Duty games where it has a lower amount of rounds but increased other aspects, which makes it a better weapon in certain aspects. But we're not going to talk about that. The amount of damage that the LSAT does is 38 damage up close, and then it, it drops off to about 20. It's a pretty big of a steep drop off. It's about 50% less damage at its max distance, but, you know, regardless, it makes it a 3-5 to five shot kill weapon, which means you really want to do most of your work up close, which is something that's pretty hard to do with LMG since they're so slow. The headshot multiplier of the LSAT is 1.56. This actually does make it into a pretty viable weapon even at a distance if you do aim for the head, and it does have a pretty fast firing rate of 800 rounds per minute. Now even though it does have this really fast firing rate, the LSAT actually has pretty controllable recoil. In my opinion it was low to medium recoil, to some people who are not very good with recoil they'll see it as a little bit of a recoil, quite a bit of kick, but for people who are quite accustomed to it you might see it as really low. Actually when I was playing with it I actually thought it was incredibly low, but that's just my opinion, personal preference on the recoil. For some of you guys it might be difficult to control, for other people it might be easier. Anyways, with that being said, let's jump over to the chainsaw and find out what are its pros and its cons. With that being said, the chainsaw actually has a smaller than average ammo capacity. It only has 80 rounds per clip, which is about 20 rounds less than you would see normally with LMGs. Nothing too hectic, you're not going to find yourself reloading any more or less than you would with a regular LMG, but it's still quite a bit noticeable considering normally LMGs do have 100 plus rounds per clip. Anyways, with that said, the chainsaw does 34 damage up close and drops down to 24, so it doesn't do as much damage as the LSAT, but it does do more damage at a distance. Now, even though it does do more damage at a distance, it doesn't really do anything. It's still a 3-5 to five shot kill weapon, just like the LSAT. And the one downside of the chainsaw is that it actually has a lower headshot multiplier than the LSAT. It has a 1.4 time headshot multiplier, which kind of evens it out with the LSAT since it does do a little bit more it tries to compensate for the lack of damage at a distance and with the chainsaw it kind of makes it so that they're kind of neutral or, or pretty close to each other. The one upside of the chainsaw is the fact that it does have a really fast firing rate. It shoots at 857 rounds per minute. This is a little bit faster than the LSAT. It's not going to be super noticeable but it is a tiny bit noticeable when you are in gunfights. And because it does fire a little bit faster, I do have to say that the chainsaw has quite a bit of recoil even when you do that weird ADS or focus, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, with that said, let's talk about which one of these two weapons you guys think is better. Leave a comment down below. Do you guys think that the LSAT is a better LMG or do you enjoy using the chainsaw more? Maybe it's just an experience over, you know, the technicalities of the weapons. So let me know which one do you have more fun with and which one do you find yourself more effective with, the LSAT or the chainsaw. Now. In my personal opinion, the better LMG is going to be the LSAT. The only reason being is that I, I really like that ability of being able to ADS. With the chainsaw, you kind of have to be hip firing all the time. And you always, you can only really use it on smaller maps. You're going to find yourself really struggling on bigger maps. You're going to find yourself getting killed a lot and it's just going to be very frustrating. But when you are on smaller maps and you are accustomed to hip firing, then I would suggest that you use the chainsaw. But if you're like me and you enjoy being able to ADS and actually go into gunfights that are a little longer range, then I would use the LSAT since it is a much better option for that. But anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Comparison. If you did, remember to slap a like and a favorite. It gets it out there for other people and it helps the channel grow. And of course, if you guys are new and you enjoyed this video, then remember to subscribe so you won't miss any future content from me. I do upload daily, so you won't miss a single video if you do subscribe. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Max I'm out. Peace!